Skinners, incredibly horrible creatures. The identity of Dane's father revealed. And so many more secrets and evil things comes out in this book. Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aram the book quester. Today I have this epic, awesome fantasy book that depicts the final battle in the awesome immortal quartet. The realm of the gods, but Tamora appears herself, and it is the fourth book, as I have said, of the Immortals Quartet. As usual, we have Dane, the one whose, fa whose father is revealed to be a god, and who has power to talk and to make animals help her against evil beings. Immortals. Immortal beings who are immortal as long as they don't get killed if by sword or by injury. These creatures are seems to be creatures from fantasy, but they are real and they have come over from the divine realms. And these incredibly some incredible, some evil, some just good creatures have learned over. In the last book, someone, uh, some emperor in Karthak, maybe, you know what I mean, that annoying emperor has become a Stormwing, and we, we thought that since he became a Stormwing, he would be hunted down and killed. But that really didn't happen, and now he's leading most of the Stormwings into battle against Tortell, Dane's kingdom. And the immortal, the barrier of immortals, the barrier, the barrier that cut the divine realms and the mortal realm from, you know, like, for example, like storm wings coming from the divine realms into our realm. That would be really bad, which is why the barrier was there, but the barrier evaporated, which means that now very evil, very deadly creatures can just swoop down and kill people, which is very awesome, by the way. And now, now, these evil Skinners appeared, and Dane and Numer, her, her mentor, her friend, her comrade, together they fight against the Skinners. But alas, the Skinners almost kills them, which results into, the, into Dane's parents. Sara, Dane's mother, who is immortal, and her father, Wirin, the god of the hunt, which makes sense since she had wild magic. And finally, Dane and Numera are in the Divine Lands, and Dane manages to meet her parents. And she finds out very unsettling things, and that the only way back into the mortal realms in time to defeat the evil emperor's plot, the only way to do that? is to go through a stage of, uh, to take on a perilous journey. And, you know, it's super annoying, typical. And, and they have to recruit dragons. Since our dear Dane has adopted Sky Song, the young dragon, the dragon should have been felt mm, indebted to Dane because, you know, she took care of an orphan, orphan dragon, and that's a good thing. So the dragon should help them into our into back into Total, where they would fight against the evil emperor one last time. This is an epic, awesome book with an awesome battle, with all of our beloved characters coming together to fight against evil, and Dane and the fi at the final parts of the book changes. What by that I mean that she is changed. At first she thought of Stormwings as evil vile beings, but finally she finds that every immortal, even the most evil ones, are there for a reason. They're for the reason of correcting something in humanity. If you're in the presence of a griffin, you can never lie. If you're um, Stormwings, Stormwings are the cause that humans don't want to go into battle or war. Stormwings, terrible. It represents the terribleness of war that makes most people 
don't want to get war, and so that even Stormwings, the evil, vile, uh, very dirty smelling creatures, they're, even they are necessary. Creatures that makes people fear war itself. And it is a great book of fitting finale with a little bit of mm -hmm, romance. I mean, what did you expect? I mean, we've been building up to this book since the since wild magic. And well, let's be honest here. I expected this romance, especially from book three, The Emperor Mage. Great book, awesome battle, and one of the best fantasy books that I have ever read. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Oh dear, I have to go to sleep. Have a good day.